Hey everybody, today on Skinny with Skincare with Chris Gibson, we're gonna talk about a famous facial, a soothing avocado facial that I have done a gazillion times on television. I did it on George Foreman on the Daily Buzz several years ago, and it's been in magazines, it's been all over the place. So today I'm going to tell you how to make this terrific, easy, very soothing facial. If you have acne or sensitive skin, you're gonna love this it's so easy but before we get into how to make this facial i would ask for you to please subscribe if you haven't i thank you so much for watching and it's really important that you no get notified when i have these new skincare uh, videos up so please be sure and hit the little bell so that you get notified and again i have lots of questions on skincare that's a big thing i'm known for um, so even though there are a lot you may see a lot of questions and a lot of comments you'll notice that i do answer them so please by all means for sure ask me questions leave me feedback on this video so that i can be of more help to you if i need to be all right so what do you need very simply you need a couple of small avocados you can get away with one but you need a couple of avocados you're going to need some oatmeal and you're going to want to place a cup of oatmeal uh, not like the early the quick oats but like old-fashioned oats you're gonna put oatmeal in the food processor and turn it into an oat powder. Now, you wanna process this till it's, it's a little grainy, but it's very powdery, just almost like flour. You're making oat flour, really. So you'll probably have more than you need because you're only gonna need a half a cup of this when you make it, when you go to make the face mask. So you can put the rest of it in a, in, you know, in a little plastic bag and put it in the refrigerator and use it for the next one. But anyway, you're gonna need a half a cup of this ground oat flour that you just made. You're also going to need a teaspoon of olive oil and you're going to need a teaspoon of honey. So it's avocados, oat flour, honey, and olive oil. So that's what you need. So you're gonna take all these ingredients and you're gonna mix them together and it's gonna make kind of a really thick, pasty mask. So you're gonna whip it up till it's whipped up really, really well, blended very, very well. And it looks sort of like you see here on the video. It's gonna be sticky and thick. You're gonna apply this to your skin and you can apply this to the backs of your hands, to your neck, to your chest. If, you, if you've got sun damage, you can place it on your face, which is what it's ideally made for. And you wanna leave it on for about 20 minutes. It's gonna to start to dry. Sometimes a little bit of it will fall off, but what it does for the skin is the enzymes in the avocado are able to penetrate the skin along with the olive oil and it's hyper moisturizing. The oatmeal and the avocado together along with the honey are very soothing, especially if you have acne breakouts or you, this is great on like poison ivy or poison oak rashes. It works amazingly well. It's all natural and it works amazingly well. So that's what you do to make this wonderful mask. I'm gonna include the recipe for the mask and a link um, from one of the magazine articles where it was featured uh, not too long ago so that you can read about more about it. But I think you'll find this a really easy way. You can keep it in the refrigerator a couple of days. Now, here's the caveat to that. I did go on a TV show where the host took the mask home we made it on the tv show and she took it home and she placed it in the refrigerator and i suggest that if you do that what i told her you put a not guac on there because her husband uh who's a pro sports player came in late one night after a game and decided to help himself to some guacamole that wasn't guacamole and while it's wonderful for your skin it tastes terrible if you eat it so be sure you mark it so nobody else mistakes it or, or you don't either. It's not a tasty mask. <laughs> so I uh, hope you find that it works very, very well for you. Please, again, leave me feedback, ask me questions. We have these skincare videos every week, along with Cooking with Chris videos on healthy meals. And we have health and fitness videos coming up and some expert videos coming up that I'm really excited to be presenting over the next several weeks and months. So stick with us. Uh, I hope you will, and I hope, again, you enjoy this mask and let me know. And stay tuned, because we have a lot more to bring you.